For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, let's get straight into the video. Palantir Technologies has provided its shareholders with an outstanding year, proving to be one of the standout performers in the stock market. The data analytics company, known for its specialized artificial intelligence platforms, has carved out a niche in providing services to the military, intelligence agencies, and large corporations. This year, Palantir has not only achieved a phenomenal top-line growth, but has also finally transitioned into a profitable enterprise, a milestone that has significantly boosted investor confidence. As global conflicts become more frequent and complex, Palantir's tools are proving essential for the United States and its allies, strengthening its position in the market and reinforcing its importance in global defense and security. The company's stock has risen by over 115% since the start of the year, a remarkable feat that highlights its impressive growth trajectory. More importantly, this growth shows no signs of slowing down, which has excited investors. What makes Palantir particularly appealing to shareholders is the combination of factors driving its success, the rapid pace at which it is attracting new customers, its unwavering focus on artificial intelligence, and its steadily improving profitability. These elements create a potent mix that promises a future growth potential. When Palantir first began operations in 2003, its initial goal was to provide big data analytics software to the United States Department of Defense and Intelligence Agencies. This came at a time when the global war on terror was at its height, and there was a significant demand for innovative technologies to help with data data analysis, and decision-making. By delivering modern and rapidly evolving software solutions, Palantir managed to outperform legacy products, securing numerous contracts with key government agencies. Its offerings were seen as cutting-edge compared to older, less efficient systems. In fact, Palantir's success in securing government contracts has been a significant driver of its revenue. Last quarter, the company's revenue from the U.S. government reached $278 million, a notable figure that underscores the importance of its partnerships with various government entities. Given the sheer size of the United States defense budget, Palantir has a lot of room to grow its sales to the federal government, especially as new defense needs arise and as the government continues to invest in data and artificial intelligence capabilities. This vast potential for expansion in government sales makes Palantir a key player in the defense technology sector. The reputation it earned from working with the U.S. military and intelligence agencies has proven to be an excellent form of marketing. After all, if Palantir's software is trusted by the United States Department of Defense and the Central Intelligence Agency, it can certainly meet the needs of corporate clients. This perception has led to a steady influx of companies signing deals with Palantir, allowing it to diversify its revenue streams beyond just government contracts. In the last quarter, Palantir's total commercial revenue saw an impressive increase of 33% compared to the previous year, reaching $307 million. This growth in commercial revenue is a testament to the effectiveness of its business strategy, which includes not only acquiring new clients but also fostering deeper relationships with them. Palantir's customer base grew by 41% year over year, further demonstrating its success in expanding its reach. This growth is significant because of the company's land and expand business model. In this model, once a client begins using Palantir services, they tend to spend more money on these services as time goes on, as they find increasing value in the company's offerings. This results in long-term relationships with clients that continue to generate revenue for years. Such expanding customer relationships create a durable revenue stream, ensuring consistent growth for the company well into the future. However, profitability has not always been Palantir's strong suit. When the company went public a few years ago, one of the main concerns investors had was its lack of profitability. Although Palantir was able to post strong revenue growth, its bottom line was consistently in the red, raising doubts about the company's long-term financial sustainability. Nevertheless, Palantir has made significant strides in improving its financial position over the past two years. In that time, the company has shifted from a negative operating margin of 40% to a positive 12% margin over the last 12 months. Furthermore, during the last quarter, Palantir's operating margin expanded to 16%. This is a significant turnaround and speaks to the efficiency of its business model. One of the key factors contributing to Palantir's improving profitability is the nature of the software industry itself. Software companies in general benefit from a high degree of operating leverage. This means that once the initial investment in developing the software is made, the cost of delivering that software to additional customers is relatively low. As Palantir continues to scale its business, it stands to gain from this leverage, allowing it to increase its operating margins over time. In fact, as the company matures, investors can reasonably expect to see its operating 
operating margin climb even higher. This trend toward higher margins is one of the reasons why Palantir is such an attractive investment for those who believe in the company's long-term potential. To put this in perspective, consider that Adobe, one of the most successful software companies in the world, has achieved an operating margin of over 35%. If Palantir can eventually reach similar levels of profitability, it could be generating enormous profits. However, while this prospect is exciting, it does not automatically mean that Palantir stock is a buy. Investors must remain mindful of valuation, as it plays a crucial role in determining the potential return on investment. While Palantir has shown remarkable growth, the question remains whether this growth has already been priced into its shares. The company's market capitalization stands at $82 billion, which is difficult to justify based on its existing financial performance. For example, Palantir's revenue over the last 12 months was $2.48 billion. And although it posted year-over-year -year growth of 27% last quarter, it still faces significant challenges in maintaining this rate of growth. As revenue bases grow larger, achieving the same percentage of growth becomes increasingly difficult. This is simply a matter of scale, and it is a challenge that Palantir will have to confront in the coming years. Assuming Palantir can maintain exceptional business performance and accelerate its revenue growth to 40% annually over the next five years, its revenue could reach $13.3 billion. However, this would require an extraordinary level of execution, and it is a scenario that many investors would find surprising if it were to occur. Nevertheless, let's assume for a moment that Palantir can achieve this remarkable growth. If it were also able to increase its profit margins to 40%, which would exceed even Adobe's margins, it could potentially generate $5.33 billion in annual earnings five years from now. If Palantir's market capitalization were to remain steady at $82 billion during this time, the company would have a price-to-earnings ratio of 15.35 years from now. While this might seem reasonable, it is important to recognize that even under such an optimistic scenario, Palantir stock would only have an earnings ratio that is comparable to the long-term average earnings ratio of the stock market as a whole. This suggests that even if Palantir's business outperforms expectations, the potential for significant shareholder returns from this point onward may be limited. Investors should be cautious as the stock's current valuation leaves little room for error. Palantir Technologies has had an outstanding year, driven by strong customer growth, expanding commercial revenues, and improving profitability. The company's software offerings have proven invaluable to both government and corporate clients, positioning it for continued success. However, despite its impressive performance, Palantir's stock is currently overvalued. Even with optimistic growth and margin assumptions, the potential returns for shareholders over the next five years appear limited. Investors should consider these factors carefully before making any decisions regarding Palantir stock. For more stock news updates, remember to press the like button and subscribe. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.